Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to go over my top 12 list of things that are must-have items that I use in the reptile room every day. Things that I think every reptile keeper needs to make their lives taking care of their animals easier. I have a lot of reptiles and amphibians, and taking care of them every day is a lot of work. So when I thought about this, I thought about things that I use every day and some things I don't use every day, but that I really need and make my life a lot easier in here. So item number one, if you have any tropical species like crested geckos or ball pythons or any kind of amphibian, then those enclosures need misted at least once a day. And I have as many amphibians as I do reptiles, and those enclosures need misted at least twice a day. So for misting the enclosures, there's a number of ways you can go depending on what you need. If you're only misting one enclosure, then a simple smaller spray bottle like this would work just fine. This is something that I picked up at the hardware store and it wasn't expensive, one thing I would definitely tell you is don't recycle any kind of spray bottle that had cleaning solutions in it. Because no matter how well you wash and rinse that out, there's going to be chemical residues that stay in that bottle. And this is really easy to find. You could probably find something like this even at the dollar store. Now, if you need to mist more enclosures, you might want to go to something a little bit larger, and this is an Exoterra mister that I've used a lot. I think it's really good. It just pumps to build up the pressure and then you hold down the button to spray. And this one makes a really good mist. And I've had it for years and it's held up really well. But if you're like me and you have to miss several enclosures every day, then you might want to use something a little bit more substantial. And this is just a garden mister that I bought at the hardware store. And it's a lot easier to use because it holds up to two gallons and I don't have to refill it as often. So my morning routine starts every day with turning on the lights and misting the enclosures. And my evening re routine ends every day with misting the enclosures and turning off the lights. So the mister is something that I just absolutely could not do without. The next item you should really not be without is a hygrometer. And a hygrometer is a tool that measures the amount of humidity in the air. And in order to decide how much and how often to mist your enclosures and to reach a target goal of humidity, you need to know how much humidity is in the air to start with. And there are a lot of different kinds of hygrometers you can use. A lot of people like the digital hygrometers that have a probe attached to them that goes inside of the enclosure. I don't like those because you have to get a separate hygrometer for every single enclosure. So what I use is this simple analog hygrometer. And this I found on Amazon. It wasn't expensive. And what I like about it is I can take this one hygrometer, put it anywhere in any enclosure, and after a few minutes, I can get a good read on how much humidity is in that enclosure. For item number three, as much as you need to know what the humidity is in, in your enclosures, you also need to know what the temperatures are. And some people like to use digital thermometers that are attached to a probe that goes inside of the enclosure, just like the digital hygrometers. But I prefer to use an infrared temperature gun because I don't have to have a, a separate thermometer for each enclosure. And with an infrared uh, temperature gun, all you have to do is point it and shoot it and you can get a read on different spots in the enclosure. So it really helps you to know what the temperature gradient is from either one side of the enclosure to the other or from the top of the enclosure to the bottom. 
I also use this when I prepare frozen thawed rodents for all of my snakes. The average temperature of a live rat or mouse is 97 degrees. And so when I'm heating up those rodents, I can use this to try to get them to as close to 97 degrees as I can. So item number four is a room thermometer. Because as much as you need to know what the temperatures are inside of your enclosures, you also need to know what the temperature and ambient humidity is in the room itself. And this is just a simple ring thermometer that I bought at Walmart. And it's connected to a probe that is actually outside. And it tells me what the temperature and humidity is on the outside. And it also tells me what the temperature and humidity is on the inside of the room. And if I check on this and find that the temperature is a little low or high, then I might uh, close or open the vent from the furnace, or I might adjust the thermostat for the house a notch or two. The fifth must-have item on my list is something that I don't use every day, but I do use a lot. And that thing is some type of scraper or a one razor blade. And when you mist enclosures every day, eventually you're going to have mineral deposits develop on the glass. And some animals, like tree frogs and some geckos, they'll poop on the glass, they'll smear their food on the glass, and it's a lot to clean up. So part of my regular cleaning routine is going to be scraping all of the debris and the water deposits off of the glass. And this is a scraper that I bought at the pet store, and it's a little bit wider, so it covers a, a wider area. And for some jobs, this is really good. Sometimes if the water deposits are a little bit heavier, or if it's something like dried on gecko food that's hard to get off, then I use a one-sided razor blade, like the ones you would put in a box cutter. You just have to be careful with the razor blades because you don't want to accidentally cut yourself or your animal. And the sixth item that I always keep on hand is a pair of scissors. And if you have bioactive vivariums with plants and you use strong lights to keep those plants healthy, then some plants are going to grow fast. And certain types of plants can overtake other plants in the enclosure. So sometimes you have to trim and clip those plants back to keep them under control. And when I need a pair of scissors, I don't want to have to run around the house looking for a pair of scissors. So I just have a pair that I keep handy here in the reptile room. And must have item number seven is something that I use every single night. And that is an LED flashlight. And this is a pretty bright LED flashlight. I often come into the reptile room at all kinds of different times in the middle of the night just to see what the nocturnal species are doing. And if I turn on all of the lights, they'll most likely just skitter off to a hiding place. But with an LED flashlight, I can just turn it on and check on each individual enclosure. And I love being in the reptile room at night. It's a different perspective on what some of those animals do. And I can tell you I've seen all kinds of behaviors and things that I ordinarily wouldn't see when all of the lights are on. And item number eight on the list is feeding tongs. I don't usually uh, tong feed most of my animals. For any of the animals that eat insects, I prefer to just put the crickets or insects into their enclosures and let them hunt those down because that gives them a certain amount of enrichment in doing that. But I do have to hand feed my leopard gecko Puff. And because Puff is blind, I have to hand feed him every time he eats. So I have a very small pair of 
tongs that I just keep by Puff's enclosure since I use them about every other day. Now for snakes, I really rely on the feeding tongs. And for those, I use a bigger pair of tongs. This is a good size for if I need to feed uh, pinkies or fuzzies to a smaller snake, but it's also big enough that it's safe for feeding the bigger snakes like my ball python or boa constrictor. And a feeding tong like this is also very convenient when you have something that you need to get out of a vivarium, like a dead cricket or maybe a, a dead leaf or something like that. And moving on to item number nine are deli cups with vented lids. And I have a lot of these deli cups because I use them to breed fruit flies for the dart frogs. But I also keep a couple extras on hand to use for feeder insects. Whenever I feed anyone who eats insects, I put the insects into the deli cup and shake a little bit of the supplements, whether it be calcium or vitamins, into the cup and shake it around and then just slide the insects into their enclosures. And I wouldn't know what to do without some of these deli cups. And item number 10 might seem simple, but I use it a lot and I don't want to have to go to the kitchen every time I need it. So I just keep this plastic cup in the reptile room whenever I need to use it for water. And I clean and disinfect water bowls in here about every two or three days. And sometimes uh, someone's water bowl might have had the water evaporate and I need to just top it off a little bit. So when I have this handy, I just pour water into it so I can uh, take care of their water bowls. And item number 11 on the list also seems really simple, but it's something I use all the time, and that is a bucket. And I keep a plastic bucket in the closet over here for whenever I need to drain the water out of the false bottoms in the vivariums. And I don't want to have to go out to the garage and search for a bucket every time I need one. And this also comes in handy whenever I need to clean out uh, debris or plant clippings from the vivariums. And the last thing on my list of must-have items are plastic tubs. And I have several of these plastic tubs that I use for a number of different reasons. This one has holes drilled in the top, and it has four different locks, so it's really secure. And I use this and a couple others just like this as temporary holding places. If I need to put a snake or some other reptile in here while I clean or work on their vivarium, I might use something like this to put a snake in for about an hour while I clean and disinfect their enclosure. Or if it's a bigger job, like when I redid the dart frog's vivarium, I set up a tub like this with more of a permanent uh, setup that they could spend the night in while I did all of that work. So that's my list of must-have items that I use every day in the reptile room. But that's just me. Depending on what animals you keep, your list might be a little bit different. So if your list is different, I would love to hear about it. Just leave me a comment in the comment section below. And as always, like and subscribe. And I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.